Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all alright, I hope you've had a lovely week, whatever you've been up to. I feel like I've had, got a two week hangover, um, laundry's out, Nando's bag's out, flat is a little bit messy. And I feel like I've got literally two week hangover. It's been birthday week, birthday, karaoke, Dublin, out, party, London, Manchester show. Like I am, I have done a month's worth of activities in the space of a week. And now it's all caught up with me and it's Monday morning and I feel like someone's hit me with a truck, but today is my day to sort of just chill the F out, recoup, clean the flat, be at home. I feel like I've not been at home all week. I've not had a home cooked meal all week and I'm just excited to be at home. Anyway, my birthday is still set up. Gorge. I've still got the 24 balloons and then I've still got all my cards, all my flowers, all my presents out and I've still got enough cake to feed um, a family of five. But obviously, how am I gonna eat all this? I don't know, so I'll be handing it out to my friends in Manchester and then I've still got my little balloons and it looks really nice still. It looks like I'm opening a florist. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I've got to have ba- I can't even speak today. I'm gonna have bacon eggs on sourdough with some avo, but it was a girl show in Manchester last night. I'll insert my hey clips guys. here. It's the Manchester show and I'm already, I wasn't gonna vlog tonight, but I thought it's an extra special night because the girls are in Manchester and Manchester shows are all my favorites, so. I'm ready, Safi's outside, that's who was texting me and I'm late and it's raining and I'm now like deciding if to bring a jacket but the jacket's gonna ruin the outfit. <sighs> I'm quite stressed. But nothing's gonna really go with this. I've only got like a bummer. I don't wanna be carrying around a bummer. This is the outfit, it's from Baby Boo and it's got these little gloves but just to protect the hair and the outfit from the rain because it's Manchester. Look at my gloves. Umbrella as well. Okay, we're at Bridgewater Hall. There are all the girlies. And they've added some new stuff to the stage tonight. We've got planets. We didn't have that in Dublin. Oh, really? Yeah. So, really fun. And it was Saf and Adeem. And the show starts in T minus two minutes. So hopefully they're not late. Uh, we've got a little diet coat for the pregnant, pregnant lady. The baby's got those too. <laughs> Welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed the clips on last night. But obviously, Chin's been in Manchester for like two or three days. She was here for maybe two days. And she got me a birthday present. Let me show you what she got me. This bag. And I was like, oh my God, I'm screaming. Because she kind of was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, well, I'd love something like practical that I'd use for like uni or whatever. Just like, I don't know, like a uni bag or like anything practical that I can use would be great. Um, and she got me a uni bag from Coach. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. It says Coach New York and I love it. It's like a brown colour and the bag is black and it's canvas. It's got like a front pocket there and all this inside which I'm not going to take out yet because I want it to be nice and sturdy. And it's got a back pocket. I went for uni with like laptop, notepad, headphones, water bottle, like I need a big bag and it's canvas, so if it gets wet, it'll be fine. Um, and now, oh, Manny's ringing me. Hey. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just vlogging. Do you want to tell the vlog why you're not here this week? I'm doing my dissertation and it's so sad. 
So Mads is away for two weeks. So I'm gonna have the flat for myself for two weeks because she's doing her death. I'm doing my death. So she's put herself in lockdown. I'm on lockdown. I'm not allowed to do anything. And she's not allowed to be with me because I'm a distraction. It's <laughs> kind of good. Good that we're separated for these two weeks. Um, but I'm just making some breakfast. Oh, what are you having? Uh, bacon, eggs, on toast. That's what I had. What? Why are we twins? Yeah. And I've got my top on. The girls' bathroom. I need to get one. That's so yeah, cute. Yeah, that's nice. So she, I got an XL and it's, it's like a dress. But it's comfy though, no? Okay, I've made some sort of BLT sandwich because the eggs were not slaying. Oh, and everything's just fallen out great. And I'm gonna put on some Netflix. I don't know what I want to put on. I might just put Emily in. Oh, is that my... What date is it today? Oh, the 9th. Emily in Paris comes out on the 12th, so I'll find something to watch. I'm going to go Delulu in this house by myself when Maddie's not here. So if you feel like in these clips, I mean, you're like, Lily, what is up with you? It's like, because Maddie's not here, I'm going to just talk. Basically, I go crazy when Maddie's not here anyway. I'm gonna pull myself together, put a little bit of makeup on just so I don't feel like I look like death. Uh, but I'm gonna nip to the shop. I think I'm gonna go into town for a little bit and I'm gonna nip to M&S because they have a new range of matcha which like just blows my mind that I can also get matcha in M&S because we love it in there. We love doing our food shops, we love the home section, and then we can get a matcha as well. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna go and get a little matcha and I'll do a little taste test on the vlog. Um, I was up bright and early today at 9.55 because my module selection for uni opened at 10. So I got up bright and early, had my laptop waiting, ready to enroll. And I don't know how many modules I've got this semester or last semester. I think I've got two modules this semester and then two next semester plus the DIS plus you have to take like a mandatory it's like historical practice it's like um, all the skills that you need to do your masters basically um, but I enrolled and I picked my module so this I don't know what I've got like each semester but I know like the modules in general so there's one I've taken one on the history of Manchester which I'm so excited because I can go to all the libraries and I can look at all the archival materials they've got in all the, um, like in John Rylands and stuff in Manchester. So I thought that's going to be so cool. I'm really excited for that one. I want to say that's next semester. I don't think that's this semester. And then there's one called Remaking British History, which is literally just like different sections of British history, like women's history, like 19th century, 18th century. I think it just goes through the different eras basically which is right up my street and then there's one it's like gender sexuality and the body um so that's like gender history women's history so those are the three that i'm confirmed for and i think i need to pick a fourth but but i don't really know what to go for so i'm gonna go to one of the fairs and have a walk around and see which one kind of takes my fancy because you know it's a big decision so yeah those are the three i've got so far and i'm so so happy with them and i'm just excited to get started. I start at like the end of September. Um, and to be fair, my timetable isn't looking too bad. I just start so soon and that's why I'm just trying to sort of like chill out as much as I can. Um, and kind of enjoy just like having time off. Because obviously for the next year, it's going to be just intense work like it's just gonna be quite intense and i'm obviously gonna have another thing on my plate um so i'm just gonna enjoy this kind of like downtime chilling i don't know what i've got this weekend oh i know what i've got this weekend it's safi's baby shower on sunday uh which is just gonna be like the most wholesome gorgeous day ever i'm just excited to celebrate her and the little baby who's Who's gonna come to see that? I'm so excited. So I've got that this weekend. I'm already, I've just got a little cardigan on, got my jeans and my Taz Uggs on. Sly and let's go get some matcha and do a food shop. I am literally so out of it today. I started driving to M&S, got halfway there, realized I forgot my camera, turned around and came back, so. Can you hear that noise? Whoa, it's hit you in the face. Right. I'm gonna listen to some Sabrina. She's been healing me at the moment. I'm on, cause I'm on like a very, I'm having a very quiet day. 
I'm having her slow songs like Slim Pickings and Don't Smile are kind of my vibe today. I'm not on my hot girl shit. I'm not on my hot girl bed chem energy today. I'm on my Slim Pickings energy and Don't Smile. Don't smile because it's happened, baby. Cry because it's over. And yeah, see you at M&S. Okay, I'm in the M&S cafe. <clears throat> These are the matches. I mean, as you can see, this one was my favorite. This one was just plain vanilla, which was nice. And then this is the hot vanilla, which is gorge. But this is the winner. This is the white chocolate and raspberry. As you can see, the raspberry's at the bottom, but if you give it a good mix, it kicks it all up. And then I tried their new granola and this like soda caramel bar, which was insane. And I'm just, this is the view, really. I am back. And I am someone who immediately needs to put comfy clothes on as soon as they walk in the door. I literally strip naked at the door and put my pajamas on. So, girls' bathroom and some little pajama like, trouser things from Brandy is going to be my uniform this week. Let's give you an M&S haul. The, by the way, M&S matcha, insane. They use something called they use a brand called Ted Matcha, which I've never had before, and it's insane beautiful and they have white chocolate syrup they have toasted marshmallow syrup they have all the syrups so you can literally add what you want as well delicious everyone has to go and try it anyway so tomorrow for dinner i'm gonna have sausage and mash along with broccoli and mash gorgeous home-cooked meal that's what i want and then tonight i'm gonna go see india and she's making us pasta so i picked up some garlic bread take over and I also got a katsu curry slay, hummus and cucumber random little bits but good morning everyone I hope you're alright, I didn't really vlog at India's house last night because we are just having pasta and we had a gorgeous ketchup but this morning I've got ready and I look like sporty spice in this tracksuit but it's absolutely pissing it down outside uh, and my hair's greasy, so it's gone up and tracksuit's gone on. Um, but I'm off to get my nails done. I've not had these done in ages, look, and they're kind of grown out and, like, the pink has kind of faded. I'm just going to get simple French tip for start of school and I'm going to meet Saf and we're going to have a coffee. So, nice little morning. Remember my cheek look blended? Um, even though it's raining outside, so I hope it will stop so we can sit outside, but I highly doubt it. It's kind of getting to that weird stage of, like... You can't sit outside anymore. We're in Altrincham. And I've got Steph in the bum with me. Look at that. Hey. Hey, Bumpy. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to Gail's, which is over there. We're going to get our nails done. Cute. I just got square French and <laughs> Safi got almond French, which look really nice. Um, but we're starving and we want to have some breakfast. And Gail's do matcha now. Oh, yeah. So I might actually try one, but it's more hot chocolate weather. Here we go. Yay! What else is there? Oh, me and Mads had this the other day, which is really good. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, look at the pastries. <laughs> Guys, I ordered the food from Gales. I've never had it before. It's like baked eggs. Baked... Oh my God, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Bacon and sourdough toast. And Seth got a festival. Gorge. And we both got our first hot chocolate of the season. It's so good. Cheers. I've already had a <laughs> Cheers! Nice. So good. Let's try this. I love hot chocolate season. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have the matcha in the scales, but they've got it in the one in town, which is really weird. So maybe I'll have to go to the town one and try it, but I'm so excited to eat this. What the hell? We cleaned that up. We actually cleaned that up. It was delicious. I don't know if you can hear me, it's truly really loud in here. Now those eggs were delicious, you have to come. Yeah. But we're just talking about baby showers. So this last baby shower this Sunday. And we've been talking about this baby shower for months and months and months. Like we, you picked a date literally like months ago. And I can't believe it's literally this Sunday. I'm so excited. I've got like a little pink How's of CB game, game dress but I need to get it tailored. So I need to chat my own again. It's gone too small. It's much, much later now. I've literally washed my hair, gone to the gym, put my pajamas on. Mary got me these for my birthday. But I'm going to have sausage and mash for dinner. 
this is mine and Maddie's like comfort meal and I feel like it's been so cold I've literally just turned the heating on for the first time in this flat so I need like a comfort meal so I bought this yesterday from m and obviously we saw mash I'm having a little self care evening so obviously Maddie's not here got my nails done today they are gorgeous look at these gorgeous I had pink chrome like twice in a row and gorgeous loved it for birthday and holiday but i just thought these are my like classic brunch i just got an email from my new academic advisor booked a meeting with him next week and i'm like it's actually real like i'm actually going back to school and it's kind of weird it's a weird but exciting feeling um but yeah I'm gonna watch, I'm in the process of watching Bridget Jones' Baby. I'm finishing it, because me and Maddie started it together. And plate up dinner with me. I love this shot. I love that you can see the city in the background, it's gorge. I'm gonna use this plate, my little Italy plate, and I just called mum. I literally can't ring her when EastEnders is on. I think, I don't even know when EastEnders is on. I think it's like seven to eight, I think, or half seven to, I don't know if it's on for an hour or half an hour, but she'll pick up the phone, and then she'll sit there on the phone like this just watching the TV as I'm speaking. And she's like, yeah, yeah, can I call you back when EastEnders is done? And she'll do it every time. I'm like, just don't pick the phone up. But I just called her and she didn't want to talk to me. A little close up. Oh my God. Wait, where is it? Delicious. For better or worse, fate has brought us together. It wasn't fate, it was condoms. Oh. Dinner was so good. And tonight it's the Glasgow show, I believe. And the Glasgow dresses are my favorite dresses, probably the whole tour. It's like me in a dress, gorgeous. And basically, I don't really talk to Chin before the show. I don't really talk to Chin before the show because she's like, she's super busy, getting pics, whatever. So I'm in the Patreon group chat and I always say like on the show day that I'm not there, like can anyone send pictures who's at the show? Like, cause I just love to see them. I love to see them on stage. And I just said, can anyone send pics of the girls please tonight? And this gorgeous girl called Caitlin has sent, took a picture and put it in the group chat so I can see. I'm not really focusing, but could they're, they're the girls. And there's, there we go, there's the girls. And Alien Brian, like look at this dress. Oh my god, this is these are my favorite dresses ever. Love, but yeah, this group chat, I'm obsessed. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I'm about to slash in red. That's great. Okay, I make this like chopped salmon, whatever, and then I'm gonna put it on a little bagel. But yeah, just so then in every bite you get cream cheese, cucumber, and onion. Makes sense. Lunch was delicious. I've just put my hair back and given it a little blow dry in the what's it called the air wrap or whatever um because i'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on and we're gonna go to the shop and i think we're gonna make some banana bread today because obviously i've really been in my baking i need to like pin all my hair back in my baking era with all the birthday cakes but we've not got a birthday now for a while um and i want to keep this baking alive because it's actually really therapeutic so i'm going to make a banana bread because uh, I've not made one in ages and they're like literally my favourite thing ever. So we're going to nip to the shop. And I just called Safi and she's making beef tacos tonight. I, and she sent me a picture and they look amazing. So I might go get the ingredients for that because you know when someone shows you something and you're like, oh my god, like I need that. This is, this is what's just happened on FaceTime. So I'm going to go and get the ingredients for beef tacos and we can make beef tacos as well. So I'm just going to put on a tiny bit of concealer just so I don't look like the walking dead and then a bit of bronzer as well and I might go to the cinema in a little bit to see it ends with us because I've not even seen it yet and there's one a half six at every man um so I might go watch that I wanted to go see inside out too but I think that's like not in the cinemas anymore and if it is it's in the random ass cinemas and at random ass time so I feel like it ends with it it's gonna be my best bet walk to the shop and I'm gonna walk down the canal because it was so rainy this morning and now it's like semi blue skies of clouds so I'm gonna go for a nice little walk get my stuff for baking I've got changed into a more walking appropriate outfit. I've got my knitted jumper on from Couture Club. And then I've got some white, I don't know, leggings on. I'm going to put a little podcast and walk, walk to the shop. So let's go. 
am talking to Blank Street. I fancied a matcha and I'm gonna order one. I'm gonna get, oh my God, I want to try the iced banana one so bad, but I wanna make like a proper vid. So I'm just gonna get an iced vanilla. Large, this is, this is my order. I get skim milk, then I get vanilla, and then I get an extra shot of matcha, because why not? And it's literally the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Check out. And I've got nine points, so if I buy this drink, then I get a free drink next time. It's literally like blue skies in town. It's really nice. And it started raining, so I ran inside to Sainsbury's and got an umbrella. It started torrential raining. Obviously, I'm in a knit ja jumper. But I had to run into Sainsbury's to get an umbrella, and she gave me for free. And look how nice it is. It's like a proper, proper umbrella. So, but now it's blue skies, so that was great. I'm just gonna go get a matcha, and then go get some dinner and banana bread ingredients. Okay, quick MS haul. We've got butter, light brown sugar for the banana bread. This is what goes in the tacos. This is what Safi told me to buy. So put that in the oven. Then we've got bananas, obviously. We've got some Tex Mex dip for tonight. Put that in the fridge. What else we got? Cheese, these wraps. Oh, my receipt wraps. And of course, chocolate chips. I'm going to mash up three bananas to start off with i love banana bread it reminds me of lockdown i used to literally make a loaf every like i'm not gonna lie every like two days because my family we'd have like two thick slices each and then it'd be gone because i mean what else was there to do in lockdown except it was a banana bread but yeah it was a nice walk to the shops actually it was like about an hour and a bit you know what's actually fitting i should have tried the banana bread matcha because obviously i'm making banana bread right now but I might go try that tomorrow, I'm not too sure. And then tonight we've got beef tacos that I'm gonna start making when this is um, just about to go in the oven. Um, I've figured out that I've still got one more module that I need to choose for my MA. And I just don't know what I wanna choose because all the modules that are left look a bit like, they're like science history, which is not really my bag it's like there's some medieval stuff which is not really my bag um there's some american history but i'm not gonna lie i had a look and one of the seminar times was one till four on a friday and i was like one till four on a friday so i was like oh you know what i don't know if i could sign up for that delicious i'm gonna melt 115 grams of butter and put it in the wet ingredients. Hi vlog. Hey vlog. Hey vlog. She just called me to say that she misses me. She did. Literally that. <laughs> we literally spend uh, all day on FaceTime and bring. Even though she's supposed to be doing her dish. You're supposed to be doing your dish. She rings me all the time. I said to um I called Maddie today and it feels like you know when you're like sat next to your like bestie in class? And then you get separated by the teacher by force. This is what I feel. It feels like I'm having some like separation anxiety. I've just melted the butter. So I'm gonna put that, but let me check the recipe. Yeah, that looks good by the way. Hey. I can't even say anything. I just said your hair looks really nice. It looks really bright and blonde. Oh my god. Oh my god. This morning, Maddie used like a, what was it, like a grey shampoo? Was it purple shampoo? Like a purple shampoo. And uh, oh she god. left it in for ages and her hair went grey. No one kind of prepares you for how ugly you get when you're doing your distance like this. No, it's actually true. In the mirror, and I was like, I've got to do something about this, and I went too far. No, it's actually true. Yeah, like, right. the, the study dissertation air literally. It's horrible. It that girl makes me laugh so much. <gasps> oh my God. I need to like do my egg like this. I'm recording a TikTok. I'm really in my baking TikTok era. And I've seen all these banana bread TikTok. And they use a sound saying, 
It's the, I think it's the Gilmore Girl soundtrack. So I'm just mixing in two eggs. To be fair, the banana needs to be a bit smoother, but I can't be bothered. And then I'm gonna just pour in the melted butter. And I like this recipe because it doesn't require the electric whisk. Okay, and then we're gonna weigh out the dry ingredients. My like key top tip with banana bread is, is using two sorts of sugars. I use castor sugar and I use light brown sugar. Sometimes I use dark brown sugar, it literally just depends what I have in the cupboard. But today I've actually got no castor sugar because I forgot to get it in M&S and I bought light brown instead. So it's, uh, to collectively it's 175 grams of sugars with the soft light brown. It makes it like more moist and gives it more like of a golden color, which is obviously what you want for your banana bread. I always say like, I've been watching Zoe Sugg's vlog, vloggers, but I didn't keep up with it. So I'm like, kind of like dipping in and out of the vlogs and I love it. And I love it when she bakes with Otty cause she's so sweet. But I just think like, I'm such a lone baker. Like I like my own space while baking. Like it's my own outlet that I'm just gonna be, if my kid's like, please let me help, please let me help. And I'm like, this is mommy's time to bake. Like leave me alone. I think I'm gonna, I'm not a good sharer when it comes to baking or cooking. I just like to do it all myself. I don't know if that's like the Virgo in me or I'm just like to be in control of situations, but to be fair, maybe if like the Baba wants to help, she can help, I don't know. It's like caramelly colored because of the light brown sugar and it looks gorgeous. And then we've got our chocolate chips here. 100 goes in and then 100 goes on top. Mm, this is looking and smelling so good i like a thick lumpy banana bread and i think it's got enough chocolate chips she's not the biggest loaf tin in the world but she's gonna go in the oven for like 55 minutes um but she's so cute and dainty and thin so let me put her in see you in like 55 minutes my queen there we go see you later alexa good evening lydia for how long uh 45 minutes. I'm gonna 45 minutes. Starting now. Thanks, Alexa. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 45 and then check on her because she's a bit smaller. And then I think I'm gonna make some banana cups. Because I have loads of mixture left over. Obviously, that mixture is for a bigger loaf tin. Um so some banana cups might be cute. Okay, banana breads are out of the oven and I've made tacos. It actually looks really good. I've put some cheese in. I'm gonna sit, look, this is scaring me because it's like deflating. But I put some cheese um, and onion in these. Okay, she's gorgeous. She caught a little bit on the edge, but I think the inside's gonna look good. So let's give her a little cut. She looks insane. I don't know why I cut it in the middle and not just the ends off. But let me see if I can show you with the light. Oh my God, she's so chocolatey. And I'm very moist. Look how moist that is. It's actually wet. Got myself a little slice. Let's try this. I bet that's. I want some really, really chocolatey bit. Mm. Perfect. Okay, I'm already got a curl in my hair. Successful. I'm gonna wear the same. Oh my god, what the fuck's that? Um, I'm just gonna wear the same jumper I wore yesterday and put a bodysuit on and then just jeans so I look a bit more put together than the gym leggings, so that makes sense. Uh, but I need to leave in about 10 minutes. We're on our way to see Mum and Honey. I'm on the way to Sheffield. Oh my hair. Yes, I'm on the way to Sheffield. It should only take me about 50 minutes, so it's not bad. I forgot my big headphones, so I've had to buy some of the train station these black ones because I can't sit on a train and not listen to TikToks or music or anything. I don't think anything's like it's like empty in this carriage but I should be there in about 50 minutes so okay we're at lunch we've come to somewhere called is it what's it called? Lost and Found. And we're with Mammy and Mary and Honey's also here as well but me and Mum have got BLT sandwiches and fries for lunch and Mary's got some sort of, is it? Some squid. But the sun is shining. Last time we came here, it was uh, snowing, wasn't it, and ice. So it makes a nice change. Look at this. This is a BLT. God, mum got the same. 
And then we've got truffle cheese fries. Thank you very much. Mm. Hello, happy girl. Hello. Honey. Oh. Hello, happy girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's got no photos in this room. The only photo she has is over here. Look, and it's of me. Look, have you seen this? And of the dog. Oh. Oh. And of her. But look, oh, it's me. Know, it was at my birthday or her birthday? It was your birthday. She had the foot flops. Why is her fringe like that? <laughs> Why has she got one little bit in her fringe? Oh, look at the flip flop balloons. They're so cute. Yeah. I look really nice. What age was I here then? And what age was uh, now? She must have been about three, you must have been about six. Really? Mm. Oh, she looks so cute. Okay, we're gonna go to Tesco and get some bits because I've run out of toilet roll. You gonna get me some? Yeah, go on now. Oh! I ran out of toilet roll and maybe I'll get some dishwash tablets for the flat. But I look really blonde today. I don't know what's going on, really. Tesco no, haul! We went in. Oh! We just went in for. Toilet roll, and this is what mum got me. Look at these white chocolate digestives, and mum says they're new. I've never seen these before. Mm. So I'm gonna have these with a cup of tea when I get home. Cling film, <coughs> toilet roll. This is for my journey back, my Oasis. I'm an orange Oasis girl. Are you an orange or? I don't drink it. What? I don't ever drink those because I always thought they were full of sugar. Oh. <laughs> and then I got a little oat milk my tea. It's a shame I could have brought you oat milk. We've got loads there. No, I just wanted a little milk for my tea. Uh, That's all. And then I got, what else did I get from in there? I got, I got, I got what's that? Um, laundry. Laundry. Liquid. And then dishwasher tablets. Dishwasher tablets. Well. 